Did you know that there are so many amazing things you can buy for your 3D printers? But there are also some accessories helping you with your 3D prints, like the stuff that Wambam sells. But also later on, we are going to check the Diamondback nozzles and how they can improve your whole 3D printing experience. Right here on Zachary's 3D prints. So, so this is my friend Peter from Wambam Systems. Yeah. Awesome brand. Tell me more about some of the products. Well, Lambam started off with a lot of flexible build systems for FDM, for resin. Right now we have some like 38 sizes in FDM and even more in resin. And we've expanded our line for anything innovative to help you upgrade your printer and your print experience. We have a whole line of hot boxes for FDM. This is the regular original one. We have the Mega. We have one for the P1P over here. So this is for the bamboo P1P. It's going to give you a really great enclosed temperature. You could heat it up if you want to. It's going to keep the fumes in. All of them have a, a vent exhaust. You could actually hook up a DIY fume extractor we have over there. They all have a place for our cloud fire suppression in there. And they'll all fold up and put away real easily. This is new this year is our nozzle maintenance kit everything over here on this mat for only $17 and you get these really handy tools to clear jams to clean out your nozzle it comes with some nozzle wrenches a pneumatic coupler releaser that you could even get into a tight spot cleaning filament and a mini slot and then of course we made the mutant this is a whole series of hot ends you could mount on the mutant but the mutant enables you to remove your hot end and put on a replacement if you have a jam or another one in the time that I just did it. So if you have a jam, you take off your hot end, you put a replacement on, you're back to printing and work on the jammed hot end on the table, on the workbench. But then you can put any one of these on your printer. This is an icing extruder. That's an acid resist pen, so you could etch PCBs or etch metal, ceramic printer, whole bunch of hot ends, some laser cutters, Fabric marker pens. We actually did a project with four color Ladies fabric marker and then a TPU extruder on a t shirt to make a multi material t shirt. Uh, vinyl cutters. Of course, our flexible build system, which we started out with. This is a bamboo size. This is our XTR. We're one of the only ones who's using actual Ultem PEI by the manufacturers of PEI, uh, Sabic Group. So, very high quality build plates and our px of course is what we started out with and really yeah. wonderful solution the cloud you might know already but that's our fire suppression system it comes with a heavy duty velcro on the back and a patch with adhesive you can either put it on the wall above your printer or we have a lot of 3d mounts that you could download and print put on your printer the great thing about this is it only set off with fire not flint, not smoke or heat and when it does, it puts out a cloud of ABC powder, puts out five classes of fire, all the different things from flame to fuel to wood. And at $29, it's just a security measure that it could save your house or your, your lab. Here we got the FPS with the XDR. This is showing the power of our XDR plates. So our FPS is what we started with. We invented the system for resin printing and we still have the most powerful magnets in the market. But as resin printers got larger, oops, sorry about that, as they got larger, people needed more and more strength. So we made the XTR and this thing is a real finger pinch risk, but it, it holds right here is 30 pounds. We put 45 on there and it's gonna hold the weight. It'll resist all the FEP forces. And of course our slap mat line, and while we're here, I'm going to give Zachary a little present. Here's our mini slap for you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. That's the mini slap. It's great for keeping screws in place, working on the hot ends. So you don't get globs on your bill plate. It holds resin bottles. You can put a soldering iron on there for up to four minutes, and it won't show a mark. And it's a little daughter version of our big slap mats. And then we have hot boxes for resin hairs. And these have all the bells and whistles of the others, but it also has a red filter screen, so it doesn't get any UV light in to cure your resin. And we even have them hooked up with a lamp with the same resin uh, UV light blocker. Let me show you. So the lamp has the same anti-UV film, so you could light up your kit 
The beauty of it is also you remove your plastic covers from your printers, leave them off. There's mm -hmm. no more grabbing two sides with sticky hands. And now with a single two fingers, you can lift up the tab and get it out of the way and work on your machine. And that's a fast overview of the many products we've been working on. So if uh, people want to buy product, where can, you, where can they find you? Well, there's a lot of resellers around the world, but also www.wambamsystems.com and you'll find all of our products. This is uh, Rod, Rod from Diamondback Dolls. Okay, so what we do here is uh, we have little diamond crystals that we, uh, we put in this big press, okay, nine feet tall at a million PSI. What we end up getting is a diamond cutter here. So what we use this is for oil and gas drilling. Uh, yeah. From that, we actually started a Diamondback Nozzle, which does diamond tip nozzles for 3D printing. So what you'll pull out here is a diamond tip Brevo. Okay, what you're gonna get, the benefits is gonna be abrasion resistance, uh, thermal conductivity is gonna be great, and also uh, low coefficient of friction as well. So this is kind of what we have here is also, it's just the ice. Obviously you're not gonna be able to see it, you know, but just to feel it, you know, the thermal conductivity of diamond versus brass, it's gonna be a lot better. It's gonna be about five times as much as brass. So, you know, what we do is, you know, we touch the ice, the diamond actually melts a lot faster. You can feel that really well. Yeah. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see it online, but, uh, but yeah, we have tons of different type of, uh, of nozzles, B6, MK8s, Volcano, Anchor Makes. I mean, you name it, we probably have it, so. Uh, yeah, like I said, abrasion resistance, thermal conductivity, and uh, low coefficient of friction. So. so, where can we find these kind of nozzles? Where can people go? Uh, so, right now we're selling on Amazon. Uh, Amazon, majority of our nozzles is going to be $95. We are doing a show special. I'm not sure if we're going to be releasing it uh, during this show or not this video, but we are doing a 30% off. For the, uh, for the show until it does show 21st, but it's actually uh, good for 22nd too. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, for which kind of machines uh, are these uh, these nozzles? So it's gonna be a lot of like uh, Enders, so MK8s, V6s, uh, Volcanoes. We're actually coming out with something a little special, you know, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep on expanding the product line too, so. Did we see a little uh, tease? Just, just a little tease. You know? Just a little, a little tease. tease. So. If you know it, you know it. If you don't know it, well, keep watching and uh, you will, uh, you'll see more about it. Absolutely, we're always expanding. Like I said, we'll get, we'll get more coming. So. Thanks. Yeah. I know that you are looking for some slices for your Creality 3D printers, but there are some amazing tips helping you getting started with Creality Print. Right here.